what's up y'all it's been a while since i did one of these live videos so I'm super excited to be on here i um, just want to talk to you guys about something that guys been sharing with me um and it's in regards to to doing service um and to helping people and um it just gave me three quick things i've been i've been meditating on is one being positive two being optimistic and three being grateful so uh if you work on these three aspects in life you will always be victorious in your situation so one be positive two be optimistic and three be grateful now they all sound similar but they're very different when you're being positive you're speaking positivity you're speaking life to your your situation you're speaking life over yourself you're speaking life to everything that you're going through now when you're being optimistic you're always looking on the bright side of things so no matter if the news you receive or something that happens is not to your liking or you know somebody in your family sick or um, you're trying to uh, go progress in life but you keep hitting a wall if you're always optimistic you can always figure out the situation a lot of times people get fixated on the situation instead of fixing the, situ uh, fixing the situation. So when you fix the situation, you can fixate on the opportunities to progress in your life. So that's where optimism comes in. You know, yeah, for your air conditioner breaks in your house. You know, you can fo focus on it like, we're gonna be bad, it's gonna be a bad day, we gotta get it fixed, or being optimistic. You know what, this is an opportunity to look at some new appliances and get the best air conditioner. I've been meaning to get an air conditioner for a long time, and let me see what the best value is out there. So when you're optimistic, you look on the brighter things in life, and then be grateful. Be grateful, because God could allow that situation to be even worse than it was. So whatever your situation is that you're going through, be grateful. I've read and I've heard time and time again when you acknowledge and give first the Bible talks about when we pray first we give gratitude to God we said um, our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread so uh, we pay homage to God we, we, we honor God our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name we give him praise we give him thanks we worship him and that just transitions to everything in our life whenever we approach a situation we should be grateful for what we have so that way we can better approach the situation. So if you're ungrateful for what you currently have, then find a way, be optimistic and find a way to become grateful. That way you can have a positive outlook on your situation and come into the knowledge of being gra being grateful for all that is that you've done, all that God has for you. And I guarantee you, your outlook on life will be different it will vastly change so when you're progressing in life focus on these three principles um be positive be optimistic and be grateful so study those definitions see what those really mean to you and kind of capitalize on those things now i will say this caveat now um a lot of people reference the scripture in ezekiel when it says there's a te uh, season to mourn and a season to, to uh to be grateful there's a season to laugh and there's a season to cry there are seasons that we go to go through nevertheless a lot of people use those scriptures to stay in that place of being sorrowful a lot of people use those scriptures to kind of negate looking out on life with a better outlook a lot of people use those scriptures to say okay i'm in my sorrowful season i'm in my not blessed season i'm in my mourning season yes that is good and, and that's the yeah, ecclesiastics uh chapter three to be exact a lot of people look at those scriptures as a means to have an excuse but every season has to pass. They're called seasons, not permanent. So whatever season you're in, that season will pass, good or bad, that season is going to pass is how you assess that season, how you go into that season. And the reason why I'm talking about this is um, I'm giving you some free pointers to take into your life to get yourself to the next level. Um, and here, all, and I wanted to uh, caveat into All Got Everything. Um, All God Everything is kind of going through a transitional phrase uh, uh, period right now. We're focusing more on giving back and we're focusing more on sowing into the lives of people like yourself. So um, if you haven't had a chance to look at what we're doing, please go to allgoteverything.com. That's www.allgoteverything.com and check out the movement, check everything that we're all about. I guarantee you, you will be blessed. 
there's situations, there's seasons that we're going through in life, and we might not know how to transition and get to that next season. But I guarantee you, when you have that person in your corner, when you have that person praying for you, that person that gives you a step-by-step plan to get from point A to point B, you will be successful. The reason why um, I'm seeing changes in my life and I'm starting to overcome certain things is because I've been seeking wise counseling. I've been seeking guidance, whether it's um, getting strategies from my manager at work or whether it's um, getting uh, strategies from my pastor at my church. I'm looking to people that's been there, that's done what I'm trying to do, and they're giving me advice and they're helping me transition. And God has given me a lot of wisdom. God's given me a, a lot of knowledge that has allowed me to uh, to ha- be successful in life. And I want to share those things with you. Um, and I've shared those uh, with my team here, All Got Everything, and we want to give that to you guys so that you can be successful in every area of your life. Whether uh, you're struggling spiritually, mentally, or physically, or any area of your life, we want to be able to help you. We want to evaluate where you are in life, how, how do you approach life, your way of thinking, and we want to paint a picture for you, show you exactly how you can get from where you are right now, if you're at point A to get to point B, if you're at point D to get to point E, if you're at point uh, Q to get to point Z, wherever you are in life, we want to help navigate you. Um, and, and a lot of times our push comes from that person that we really don't know, that unbiased input. Um, I've always, it's, it never fails. When, uh, if somebody has told me something, I can hear from the same person over and over again. But if some stranger comes and speaks into my life, for some reason, even though I've heard that my whole life, that random person that just speaks that same thing to me somehow triggers something in me and it motivates me to do whatever it is that I'm desiring to do. So if you need that push, feel free to leave a comment below. Definitely share this video. Check out All Got Everything right now. I'm definitely going to be talking more about this. I'm going to give you guys more information soon. It's going to be really great. It's going to be really fruitful. You will be blessed. And I guarantee you, wherever you at, wherever you are in life, you will get to that next step if you sow into yourself. If you sow into yourself, if you take those extra steps to say, I want to be better, I want to progress, I want to do better, then definitely visit All Got Everything right now. We have people that will pray for you. We have people that will advise you, consult with you. Whatever uh, adventure you are in life, we will help you break through and get through to the next level. So like, subscribe, check out my YouTube channel. Me and my wife have a a whole bunch of Bible studies on there. You can catch the rides in where God's giving me inspirational words for the morning. But definitely check out what God is doing through the ministry and definitely be in tune and be in touch with what God has coming up. So thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, be encouraged, be blessed, be inspired. Love y'all. Take care.